KHL regular season is almost over, but there's still plenty of stuff to be decided. We don't even know who's gonna make the playoffs yet. We'll get our answers pretty soon though. My name is Andreas Sachinka and this is your daily KHL update. SKA meets Boris tonight, both are second in the conferences. It all starts with a bang as Mikhail Rachmanov hits the post from an excellent scoring position. That should have been a goal. A little later, Maxim Semyonov is late with a hit on Ilya Kablukov and he knees him. You don't want to do that. Semyonov is out for that hit. That's five in a game for a knee. Moving on to the second and Boris opens up the scoring. Roman Starshenko beats Alexander Salak for his 18th and it's 1-0 Boris. Evgeny Katov ties it up exactly one minute later as he scores on a rebound. That's his 8th and it's 1-1. But just over a minute later, Nick Anshapov scores his 8th of the year from the doorstep and Boris is back in the lead, 2-1. And that's when Artemi Panarin gets to shine. He ties this game up at two's midway through the second from a marvelous assist by Evgeny Kadam. What a beauty! And then he scores his second of the night early in the third to give SKA a lead. Panarin now has 19 goals this year. Incredible. No scoring follows, and SKA takes down Boris and Hall Mice. 3 2 final. Green rival is on again, Salavat meets Akbars, Konstantin Barul and Andrei Vasilevsky are starting goalies, and they make sure nothing goes through in this one. Akbars gets lucky on this rush as Salavat's deadly sniper Igor Mirnov hits the crossbar with the wrist shot. He had Barul and beat him, but just unlucky. Second period now, Salavat with another chance, Ivan Vishnevsky is set for a shot this time, saved by Barulin. Great bad save to keep this game scoreless. A little late, Alexander Stepanov goes behind the net, fits Anton Slepashev on the far side and his shot is blocked by Yulia Nikulin. It ain't easy to score on Akbars, that's for sure. Salavat finally gets one to go in the third as Timo Hardikan beats Barulin from mid-range. Hardikan now has 14 goals this year and this one is going to be the game winner. Vasilevsky stops 23 shots for his third shot out of the season and Salavat wins the green rivalry. 1-0 is your final. Denis Kulash meets Roman Rukavishnikov as Avangar visits Atlant. Whoever loses this game is out of the playoff race. Midway through the first, Atlant has a man advantage and Igor Odilov sends one home from the doorstep on a broken play. That's his 14th and Atlant gets what they want. 1-0. Shoot left to that, they get another scoring chance. Evgeny Artukhin is in on a breakaway, but he can't beat Harry Carlson. Artukhin could have made this game a lot easier for Atlant. Atlant keeps the pressure on in the second, but nothing goes past Henry Carlson. And I think he made a new friend in the process as well. Something you don't see every day. Stanislav Galimov keeps avant-garde at bay, making 34 saves, and that leads to an empty net by Maxim Mayor of later regulation. 2 0, and avant-garde is out of the playoff race. Atlanta is still three points away from the eighth spot in the West. Dynamo Riga meets Spartak Moscow. Igor Shusturkin and Jakob Sidlacek will start and goal on this one. We pick it up from the second, and would you look at this? Marcel Holsa opens up the score from a difficult angle to get his 22nd of the year. Wow, 1-0 Dynamo. Soon enough, Riga makes it 2-0 as Shosturkin can't stop Paul Shikura. He drags one in from inside and gets to celebrate his 17th of the year. 2-0 Dynamo. Sparta gets one back thanks to the solo rush by Filip Tuluzakov. He beats Sidlacek top shelf blocker side for his 4th and it's 2-1. Riga restores the two-goal margin late in the period as Matt Robinson connects on Marcel Hashtag assist for his 10th of the year. Less than 5 to go and Dynamo is up 3-1. Nikolai Limtugov scores another one for Spartak on a penalty shot just 40 seconds later, but that's all the red and white are gonna get in this one. Spartak loses their 19th game in a row. If anybody can beat this record soon, it's gonna be Spartak. 3-2 is your final. Lev holds Dynamo mints tonight. Lev is looking to secure the third spot in the West and they get to work early. Martin Tormek sets up Nico Kapanen in front and he finds the back of the net. Kapanen scores his eighth and it's 1-0 Lev. Four minutes later, Richard Lindler takes a wrist shot from the blue line and that's a goal. He went past everyone including Patrick Bachanen and ended up in the net. 1-1. Next goal came in late in the third as Martin Tormek was in the right place, right time. He picked up his second point of the night and scored 17th of the season to make it 2-1 Lev. And a few minutes later, Topi Yakola sealed the deal with an empty netter. Lev is still third in the West with just two games to go. 3-1 final. Donbass visits Slovan Bratislava. Slovan just learned they're not making the playoffs because Lokomotiv won their game. But that doesn't mean Donbass doesn't need points. 
the battle for the third spot in the West was left, and they scored first in this one as well. Thomas Giskini with the goal, 1-0 Donbass. Slovan ties it up early in the second, Martin Bakos scores his fifth, and that brings fans to their feet, 1-1. Donbass still gets what they came for though, midway through the third, Petri Virginin sends one in to make it 2-1. Giskini gets the long last assist on that one, Donbass is currently fourth in the West, but they're just three points behind left, 2-1 final. Lokomotiv continues to surprise under Dave King's command. Tonight they got an important double over Yugra 6-2. Sergei Plotnikov with 4 points. Tractor almost dropped the ball tonight as they edged Vitas 3-2. They're back in the playoff zone, but there's no guarantee they're gonna stay there. Severstar remains a playoff contender as they beat Atombilis tonight 2-1. Nikolai Prohorkin scores his 19th to open up the scoring, but Mevishev still came out on top. Dynamo Moscow lost to Melod Magnitogorsk in the shootout, but they still clinched the Continental Cup as the best team of the regular season. Torpedo is back at it. They scored five goals on Neftahimik to continue their chase for the fourth spot in the East. And that's it for your daily KHL update. Just two games this Saturday, but then we have two really busy days ahead of us. Stay tuned. My name is Andrea Sashenko and I'll see you guys tomorrow.